So if you've been following this channel for any bit of time, you know that I ride dirt bikes and that's what this channel is mainly focused on. So basically in this video we're just going to go over lap times, we're just going to see where I stack up and how much progress I've made over my whole career. So let's get into it. So I've really just been, you know, hammering down on training, fitness, you know, all the stuff like that. So, but I did recently get my suspension done. As you see, there's tons of videos I've been doing about it, installing it, testing it, you know, the whole deal. Um, but basically I went through it, got it rebuilt and just kind of got it to, uh, fit for me. So that's what we got done. And I'm, I think I've gotten a lot faster. Um, I'm hitting a lot more jumps. Um, I'll put those clips in the video right now. I've been doing a lot more jumps and it's really exciting to me. So, but with that being said, we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom of my channel. We're going to go to oldest video and we're going to look at the lap time. All right. Now this is going to be very embarrassing for me because I'm super slow. So let's look at when we cross by. So here's where we cross by right here. This is the start finish at 219. So 219. Now we're going to go find when we complete the next lap. We complete the next lap in two minutes and three seconds. Okay. So that's kind of our benchmark. That is the oldest video I can find on my channel. This is back when I was on the, <laughs> the 2000 CR252 stroke. That thing was a beast. Let me tell you. So this is the oldest video I have, so this is the lap time we're going to go off of. Now we're going to going to go through about mid-pack of my videos and just look at when I got my new bike and look at the lap times on there. So let's go back here. Let's go back to the channel. Let's go about, um, I have a video in mind that I want to look at. Let's go first ride of the season right here. Let's go look at this one. We'll look at the lap time on here, and we're going to... Okay, so this is when I'm jumping downhill. That was that was pretty good. Okay, um, I was actually doing really good. This is when I first started getting comfortable with the bike. Um, I probably had 15 hours on it at this time, so not too many hours, not too much time to get comfortable, if you know what I'm saying. But let's find when we cross past the start finish line. This is the basically the last jump before the end of a lap at this track at my home track. So. The last lap was 347 in the first video I've done. So this is on my new bike and this is a 538. So the difference between that is going to be, let's see, it's going to be a minute and 50, 51 seconds, minute 51 seconds. So that was the lap time then. So now we have all these benchmarks and now I have my new lap time, which I'm not going to tell you guys yet. So you can wait till the end of the video. But I have my new lap time, which I just took yesterday at the track with my new suspension, new everything. I hit every single jump on this track. I'm not a chicken about it anymore. So we have a 203 and a two and a 151. So 203 and a 151 are our benchmarks, okay? So that window there, we've basically made up 13 seconds, 12 seconds of time between bikes so that's not really that good but it's better because i'm probably hitting more jumps you know you know you know what i'm saying but all right let's go here all right now we're going to go to my past race okay now we're on my past race and we're going to look my lap times from that i raced open beginner didn't really know what i wanted to do there didn't know what where i was going to stack up so just going to be comfortable. So the first lap is a little cut short. It is cut short for everybody. The first lap was a sprint for me. So I really just went out there and went as fast as I could. Um, if you haven't watched that video, go ahead and watch it. Uh, it's a whole vlog I did for the whole race weekend. But basically, um, set lap two, we pretty much stayed around the 136 area. We moved up to 140. Um, not too bad. Um, this is still an old suspension. So we're down to 140 there. 140 was the slowest lap that day, so we're going to go with that lap. Um, let's see. Moto 2 shouldn't be any different. Well, let me get a Moto 2. No, it won't. Okay, 141 was our slowest lap that day. So that is still 10 seconds off of the lap time 
um, from my mid mid about a year and a half ago. So year and a half ago, that was my lap time. Ten seconds I've gained in a year. So basically, we're gonna say ten seconds I've gained in a year, and I've gained about thirty seconds in two years. So that's a lot for this track. This is my home track. This is where I train a lot at. So this is a good benchmark for me. But now I have my official lap times, which I'm going to display here on the screenshot. And this is a screenshot from the stopwatch. Um, I had Pap lap time me, and we basically got down to 134. So that's really good for me. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go through and look at some of the classes that I can maybe run. Um, let's go and look at 250C. Uh, 250C Moto 1, okay? Let's see. Fastest lap this guy laid down was a 128 268 all right now you got to think about this and you know this wasn't the lap times i was doing wasn't really race pace it wasn't all out and i wasn't actually clearing a jump when i did these lap times so it could be a little off maybe a second or two so we're going to do plus or minus three seconds from the lap times yesterday and that'll put me around 130 ish so 130 ish including race pace a little bit lower than that so we're looking in the 120s ish late late 120s so i mean this is this is still stacking me up to about top five and um 250c so i mean you look at these guys you got eli wolf who lays down a 128 um you got cody Seib, who's pretty much right behind him 129 129 129 um 131 so you know i'm looking around right in here top five top six you know so you know, coming from D class to 250C, you know, some of these guys should be an A, you know what I'm saying, or B class, but that's neither here or there. But, you know, I'm not just going to stay there. Let's go to 250B and look at what 250B says. So, you know, you can only be so fast at this home track. So, looking here, we have Aiden Wells. He actually laid down his first lap, which obviously we're not looking at. We're not looking at the first lap, X and A, the first lap. But, 125 is his fastest lap time. That's a three second difference from first in 250C. So not too far, not too far at all. But 126 was his slowest and 126, 127, 128. You know, fifth place was running a 131, which is completely doable for me. So if I can run a 131 on this track, I think that's pretty good for me. So if I can run a 131 and 250B, I could probably do it, you know? So, I don't know, 250B might be the move, it might not. We still got some decisions we got to make, you know, with the whole team and everything, but we're going to sit down and talk about it and figure it out. But 250A, let's look at their lap times. Tommy Myers, great guy. Super, super nice guy. Nothing bad to say about him. He got a 122, 127, 123. So, pretty consistent. Um, 120, 122 is pretty fast for this track. Um, obviously, 250A, so it makes sense. Um, but yeah, a, a class is pretty quick. And I think if I, if I push myself a lot, I think I could get to the 125 ish range if I really wanted. Um, we're just, we're being realistic here. There's no reason to not be overshoot anything. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, uh, yeah, so that's takes us from 250A, B, C, and just looking at those classes, kind of see where I would stack up. Um, only other eligible classes I'd be eligible for. What I'm thinking about doing is Schoolboy 2, and I think that it's pretty suitable for me. Um, I looked at the riders there at the race, and they looked very, very um, doable to ride with, you know what I'm saying? So, top five, we're going to look at top five here. So, fifth place, uh, Dickie Cochran. He's running a 135, 142, 140, so he's getting up there to the mid-140 pack. Um, we don't look at his first lap, but he's running 145 average. We'll go 144 average. Um, that's slower than me, so that kind of gives me an idea where I could be. Um, you look at the guy in front of him, fourth place, he says, Eric, um, lap time is at 131 to 129, which is pretty much in the range of me. Um, but they were pretty neck and neck here. If you look at their times, they were really close together. But uh, I wish I'd wish give the gap lead here, but it doesn't. I don't know why, but... Uh, but Bo Lookabo, we'll look at him in first place. He was running a 125. It's pretty fast. <laughs> That's uh, it's pretty fast. It would be a lot of pushing for me. And, you know, you also got to factor in other people riding and stuff, trying to get to the pass, trying to pass people. So 
it's, it's all going to be different. Once you're in that race mentality, that adrenaline, you're really a lot faster than you are in just training. So got to take that in consideration and, you know, just give myself some credit. So, um, but uh, yeah, so Schoolboy 2, I think, is going to be the class for me. This upcoming race, for sure, decided on Schoolboy 2. So we're going to do Schoolboy 2. Hopefully we can run top five-ish, unless there's some crazy guy that shows up or crazy couple people that show up that are running like a 120, which would be crazy. But yeah, so basically, I think I've really came a long way in my career. Um, I don't really have any complaining um, to say about it. You know, I've had my racks, I've had my lows, I've had my ups. And you know, it, it's how it is, it's how the sport is. You know, nothing gets handed to you by any means. So <laughs> this is, it's really cool to look at my lap times now and, you know, hitting the big jumps that I haven't really hit yet. And with this new suspension, it has really, really helped me as a rider. And I really think it's going to take me far confidence wise. You know, I have all the tools I need now. I have everything I need. Now I just have to apply it mentally, which is really hard. If you're a racer, you know, it's not easy mentally. And it, it's really mentally draining, physically draining, and financially too. But nonetheless, we enjoy it. We love it. And that's why we do it. So just figured I'd come on here and make a video and show you guys and see where I stack up. Some different, you know, we're in the house today. That's a little different, but uh, yeah. So if you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like, subscribe, you know the whole deal. Comment your favorite food, whatever, I don't care. But uh, thank you guys for watching and remember keep grinding every single day. It will pay off, I promise. Just this is proof right here. So thank you guys.